So we're putting on new chain and sprockets. It's a 14 tooth on the front, which is the factory size. And maybe I got the wrong one. Maybe. Yeah, it's not the... Uh, it's... Vive la défense. Yeah, this one's much smaller. That's unfortunate. Small. Okay, well, the rear is a 44. This is right there. And the stock rear would have been a 49. So it's geared way tall. So I got this one off eBay, which it says it's used stock, and it's a 49. They cleaned it really well, or it's not used, I can't tell. It's just like the other one, but a lot bigger. This is the chain that was on it, and this is a new chain, which the internet says it should be a 428 chain, so it may have had a smaller chain on it than it was supposed to have. That fits perfectly in the new chain. I painted the top gray last night, but I did it in flat, so I want to do it again in gloss. But got a spare tire jack to hold the back of the bike up. That works good. Bring a player. Player. Come on out there, honey. There we go. What do you think? Decent amount bigger. Yep. You want lower gears? I want to go back to stock. Yeah, lower gears. Okay. This has to be clocked right. So the overheating, one of the things we want to check is the valve clearance. So valve clearance intake and exhaust on this is 0 0.05 millimeter. And then we'll check timing also. Spark plug is the correct plug. You can set, set the gap on it. It's just a little tiny loose, but not, not much. We can try to tighten it up a little bit. Let's lock it down, see if it stays. Where's our needle? Okay. You're turning it backwards every time. I'm turning it back every time? Yeah, no. I like it next. Okay, let's try it out. So we've been chasing this thing around in circles, measuring, uh, to put the 0 0.05 millimeter in, and then we'd stick the 8 in, and it would work just fine. And we had two stuck together, so we were actually setting it to 11, and then the 8 fit in, which makes sense. 
So I'm gonna do it over again with the five. Okay, so got a couple things done. We got the points gapped and the spark timing set properly. As close as we could get it. It's really hard to tell it where it fires. Like it's supposed to fire on the F right there. Uh, but it's just kind of bounces around the line. It's hard to get right on it. So hopefully it's close enough. And then um, we also did va valve clearance uh, down to the correct spec, which it was a bit loose before. So hopefully it opens a little bit more, a little bit more power, and it's struggling so much. And then the battery terminals here, uh, they don't look so hot, but I got them to where they're tight. And hopefully that's a bit better. And it runs now. We need the key on. So I found that the sprocket that I got was the wrong size. Uh, so I might have to order another one. Then this is the neutral indicator switch something or other, but I think it's leaking. All of this was very dirty. Uh, so I gotta figure out how to seal that up. And then when we had the tank off, I noticed uh, the spark plug wire on the coil didn't look good. Like where it's plugged up into the coil in there you could see the, the actual conductor coming out of the edge, the wire is broken. So I'm gonna get a coil probably. All right, so one of the next things I wanna work on, it's actually one of the things I'm most excited about, is the exhaust. So it's a straight, straight out here. I think somebody put some sort of like a spring in there. I think that might be a, a fork spring, like out, out from outside, of the, from inside a fork. Um, but I want to put a muffler on it because it's too loud and it'll run better with muffler. So I found this on Craigslist. This is a 20, 2018, 2019 Honda Grom. Um, but the, the pipe going into the muffler here is the same diameter as the pipe, as the header on this bike. This, it, this big box here is a catalytic converter. And then this header tube is actually smaller, uh, but I'm gonna cut it off here and then the cat goes away. And then we just use the muffler. Let me show you what it looks like without that cover on there. So it's like a good size, tiny little muffler. I can just cut off all these extra tabs and then weld it to the header over here something like that tiny pipe for a tiny bike that the honda grom is at 125 and this one's a 100 and and it has the wording on it that says it meets emissions in case anybody ever gives me a hard time but this being in 1970 i don't think anybody's going to care um and then i had also bought this extra piece of exhaust tubing to finish that off get up to the other header and then some exhaust paint. It worked. Just in case, huh? Mm. Yeah. No, I did put spring break this time. You want to take it for right? No. No? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to Motorcycle motorcycle stand has been working well. Ended up taking it all out like taking everything off of it and painting the top again. I went and got some gloss uh, to try to minimize like oil getting into it and just staining it. But I put like two super thick coats of gloss on it and it should be like mostly be able to wipe up if oil gets on it. 
but that's probably why people make them out of steel. <clears throat> so maybe next time, but it is free. So I guess other than the paint, I think probably like 20 bucks for the paint. Um, I've been using like a folding metal uh, ramp, but you could really easily use another piece of pallet and make like a two by four ramp that you could slide into this pallet. So it'd be fairly hidden and just pull it out when you need it. And then I've been using a car spare tire jack to lift the bike up in the back. If I want to work on the rear wheel, just stick a screwdriver in the hole. Um, but I've, it's a little bit annoying. Maybe we'll fix that. What are you doing? Huh? You fluffy.